So y'all have probably heard the standard issues with dialysis, right? The suffering, the morbidity, the mortality. But I wanna give y'all an insider's view as a nephrologist, a kidney doctor that's been at it for 12 years. Not statistics, but real life problems. This is not me on a rant or pretending that I'm holier than thou. In fact, some of the problems I mentioned, I have partaken in myself. On today's episode, three problems with dialysis. What's up, San Antonio and world? I'm Dr. Kasim Butt, and I'm a kidney doctor. I'm here to break down health in a simple way. Now do me a favor, hit up that like, share, and subscribe button. It'll really help me out. Let's get into the top problems that I see in the dialysis industry. Windshield time. Many people don't understand the hectic lives of, do of doctors, particularly nephrologists. As nephrologists, we cover, um, we, we cover and see patients in the office clinic setting, in the dialysis unit, and in the hospital. And on any given day, we could be covering multiple offices, multiple dialysis units, and multiple hospitals. This makes for a lot of windshield time, meaning driving around. Now, compound this with the fact that Medicare wants us to see patients four times a month in order to bill fully for the patient. A nephrologist may be covering several dialysis units in different parts of town on different days of the week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, on multiple shifts of the day, first, second, and third shift. Driving all over town back and forth leads to a bad lifestyle for the doctor and unlikely rushed experience for the patient. Assembly line atmosphere. Now, most patients on dialysis are actually done in center, meaning they go away from the comfort of their homes to go do dialysis at a center away. They are assigned to chair time, come to a waiting room and wait, then they're brought back to their chairs, and this occurs three times a week for four hour sessions. This can become extremely monotonous, both on the side of the patient and the providers, the techs and nurses involved in the care themselves. Not to mention, some of these dialysis centers can become huge. Oftentimes, some of them will have 25 to 30 chairs or dialysis machines there per shift, which can make the experience completely impersonal. There's oftentimes excessive beeping of machines, which can cause alarm fatigue. This makes for a stressful environment where staff that work there oftentimes feel overworked. And this in turn sometimes leads to a lot of employee turnover of both techs and nurses that work there. Crashing into dialysis. Crashing into dialysis essentially means an unplanned dialysis start. Now estimates vary, but it's thought that around 30 to 60% of patients who start dialysis start this way. Consider it like a baptism by fire. A patient may have no follow-up or never ever seen a kidney doctor, all of a sudden develops symptoms, uh, weakness, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, uh, shortness of breath or leg swelling. They show up in the ER somewhere and all of a sudden the ER doctor, after running some labs on them, comes up to them and goes, hey man, your kidneys ain't working anymore and you need dialysis. Then all of a sudden you're rushed and you make, made to sign some paperwork and he's telling you, hey, I gotta put a catheter, which is a tube in your neck, in order to take the blood out of you to clean, your, clean it in order to save your life right here and now. Then after several days in the hospital, you find out you're gonna be a lifelong dialysis patient. Yep, that's the introduction to dialysis experience for a large percentage of our population in America. Can you imagine what kind of mindset that puts you in when you start that whole experience? In order to improve patient lives and outcomes, you have to improve the quality of life and the experience of nephrologists, dialysis nurses, and techs involved in the care of that patient. The status quo cannot be maintained. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. You got something to say, please leave comments in the comment section below. And remember, it's your kidneys, your health.